سرايا المرابطين استهداف قاعد تمشي Colorful balloons are usually festive. Israeli children living near the Gaza border are taught never to touch balloons on the ground because they are likely to be attached to explosives. The balloon bombs launched from Gaza have sparked dozens of fires in the dry summer fields of southern Israel. Israeli engineers have developed a new laser system called Lahav Or, or Light Blade, to pop the balloons before they can land inside Israel. This system is very safely. You can shoot, it's hitting only the target, and it's not uh, dangerous uh, to nobody, not to airplane who moving in the sky or other equipment that we have in the air. So this is the only uh, laser system who know how to do it. The laser was developed by the Israeli startup OptiDefense and is operated by the Israeli army together with the border police. The system has shown 90% accuracy in shooting down short-range balloons and drones. The system, it detects every movement in the, in the air, and when, the system, when it detects the movement, we go directly to the place, like the coordinates it said, and we see if it's a bird or it's a balloon or it's a drone, and from there, we, if it's a drone or a balloon, we send all the information in the coordinates back to back to this part, which is the labor, and they're in charge of tracking down the target and then shooting it with the laser. Opti Defense executive Ami Shaya says the Israeli system, which costs a million dollars for each laser device, has distinct commercial advantages over other laser systems on the market. The unique thing about this system is compared to the U.S. systems and everything is the, the safety aspects. We use a specific laser and a special, uh, special uh, focusing optics. So we have very short safety distances. So we, we don't have conflicts with everything flying. And this is excellent to operate it in the urban areas, in, in the airports, in the strategic plants, in the, even the public events or stadiums. These systems are meant for short-range problems like the balloons. But eventually, the designers say the lasers could be deployed against the threat of longer-range drone attacks coming from Hezbollah in Lebanon, or perhaps even from Iran. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, near the Israel-Gaza border.